Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and online television. I am famously known for That Celebrity Interview, where I conduct interviews all over the globe by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know. I was talking a little bit about you early on Facebook. You know, that's where everybody goes. Oh, yeah, you yes. are the multi-talented entertainer. You have two new films this holiday season, a new series, and you return to your record-breaking series, Con Man. Yes. How do you find the time? Uh, you know, right where we find uh, loose change, in the seats of the cushions in my living room. That's where I keep my time. Extra time is right there, uh, and also lack of sleep. Just don't cut that out of your uh, out of your routine. And it's amazing how much time you. Can okay, find. lack of sleep is that your superhero power? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have an ability to make the perfect pot of coffee. I don't have to measure anything. I can just look at the grounds and look at the water level, and I feel it when it's right, and then I make it. That tells me you've been making coffee for a long time. <laughs> Definitely. Last couple of years, for sure. You've got this web-breaking series. You're breaking all kinds of records. I'm going to call you Renaissance Man. Hey, you know, that's, a good, that's it, a good superhero. It is. It really is. When I was reading your bio, I'm going like, God, this person is living life to the maximum. <laughs> and I In just got married. Way. I just got married. And you got to throw that in there? You just got married, yeah. too? Yeah, a month and a half ago. How many more accolades can you have, Alan? That is <laughs> incredible. Congratulations. That's the best one. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, tell us about Con Man, because that seems to be what my audience really knows about you. This is such a, a phenomenon. Everybody seems to know this. Yeah, it's uh, those people in the know. They're cool. Those are the cool. That's the that's you've got a cool crowd that follows you. Uh, it's a uh, it's a comedy. It's a it's on Comic Con HQ online. That's the that's where you can see it. It follows my character uh, Ray Nearly, who was on a sci-fi show that got canceled very very quickly, and his career sort of stalls. And the only chance for him for employment is to uh, tour the Comic Con circuit. And he has a, a bunch of fans for this show that became a cult hit, but he somewhat resents his life. He wishes he was more like his best friend, who played by Nathan Fillion, who uh, was the captain on the spaceship of the show that was canceled. And uh, he's become like Matt Damon famous. So you get to see him go to these different cons and struggle as an actor trying to make it. And uh, it's a great place for a comedy because you can... When you have superheroes involved and when you have all of these people behind the scenes at these cons who can be real hucksters uh, or you have actors playing themselves. We have Lou Ferrigno this year playing a version of himself who's a, a big theater uh, director and he adapts Of Mice and Men into a musical and calls it I'm With Stupid. And uh, we put on that play this year, which is going to be great uh, for people. I can't wait for people to see that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really fun show. It's, um, well, you know, Jack Canfield, he's the creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul. He was, like, one of my first interviews when I started this show. Really? And he gave me something that I'll never forget. He said, Valda, remember, it takes 20 years to become an overnight success. <laughs> did, it, did, it take you, did it take you 20 years? Almost. No, oh, wow. abso yeah. abso absolutely. I mean, if you go back to, I went to Juilliard in 1993, so I'm, I'm past my 20. 
but I did my first off-Broadway play in 1997. Uh, it was a comedy where I played a bunch of different characters, which helps with uh, doing uh, voiceovers. And I played 20 characters in this one play, which helps like characters and voiceovers. But then also, I, whenever you are making a new co uh, comedy play, I got to watch how it's written and they, they try a couple of scenes and they rewrite them and rewrite them. You do them in front of an audience and see what works and see what doesn't. And as a, as a writer for Con Man, I, I attribute a lot of uh, what I know about comedy from the early plays that I did back in the 1900s. <laughs> Let me ask you, where can we see Comic-Con? Uh, Con Man is on Comic Con. Con Man. Yeah, Con Man is on Comic Con. You had it right. Comic Con dash HQ dot com. And it, uh, it premieres today. Look at that. Season two premieres today. And you can also watch season one, uh, where I look just about a year younger. This is, this is, well, we'll watch it for the year younger. <laughs> and you got to come back because I didn't talk about half the accolades Star Wars, Row One. Excuse me, Moana. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I, I, this has been a really uh, great year, and I can't wait for people to see Rogue One. I play a, uh, a droid, and then Moana, I play a rooster. Uh, I'm all over the map. That's, that's, that's how it is blessed. for Renaissance Man. That's... You're a, a Renaissance Man, but you're blessed and highly favored, Alex. Thank you. So very much for being my guest today and inspire my audience because I do this show because I want people to know anything is possible and you are possible. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you.